I would like to thank the Presidential Commission for the study of bioethical issues for allowing me to speak. My name is Jesse Beltran. I am a retired Sacramento, California firefighter paramedic. I am submitting this packet by way of Doug Millar, and this packet explains my situation in which I have become a victim of a crime which violates California Senate Bill 362. SB 362 was authored by State Senator Joe Simidian in 2007 and signed into law by then Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. California Senate Bill 362 makes it illegal to transplant any subdermal electronic device in any human being in the state of California without consent. There have been several other states throughout the United States which have adopted similar bills. In addition to violating California Senate Bill 362, this is also a violation of FISA regulations. FISA stands for Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. Under FISA, it is illegal to implant any American citizen on United States soil without written consent. Violation of this regulation places this as a crime of domestic terrorism. This was adopted by our federal government. I have lived with this secret since 2009 when this was done to me. I kept quiet until I could come up with objective evidence to prove that this was done. After getting an MRI scan, a CT scan, and a high digital panoramic x-ray done on my temporal mandibular joints and the areas of my inner ear, we were able to see what appears to be a possible foreign body. I wanted to rule out the possibility to this foreign body being pixelation, which is denying digital images, and a barren abnormality anatomically specific to me, and matrixing, a phenomenon where the human brain compiles images of what was known in the past. All of these images are included in this packet. In October of 2010, I met with a gentleman by the name of Dr. John Hall, the author of a book titled, A New Breed Satellite Terrorism in America. I was referred to Dr. Hall by another victim by the name of James Wahlberg, who has a similar case such as mine. Dr. Hall found me to be a credible person and agreed to meet me. He did what was called a frequency scan. He utilized a frequency scanner, a frequency reader, and an infrared spectrum analysis. His test came up positive in the exact location where we suspected the foreign body is located. To my surprise, he also located other areas on my body that came up positive. Not only did he get a positive frequency scan, he was able to obtain the operating numeric frequencies. He also had a positive hit on my right flank. And this was surprising because Dr. Hall was not aware that I had had a biopsy done on my right flank just one week prior. I had the biopsy due to a large mass growing in the area which was measuring approximately 4 centimeters by 8 centimeters. This is documented in my medical records. The bottom line is this. Pixelation, aberrant abnormalities, and matrixing do not emit electronic frequencies. RFID, radio frequency identification, does. If you look at the studies and findings that Dr. Duncan has expressed in a new book, Project Soul Catcher, Volume 2, you will comprehend these new secret technologies being used on, and according to Dr. Hall's assessment, on thousands and thousands of human guinea pigs. He very eloquently explains this type of technology in his book and during radio interviews. The truth of the matter is that this is murder in the very least and terrorism at best. This can be represented by a recent case in Georgia where the victim, Bob Boyce, was implanted with an RFID device and developed terminal cancer. When you research the abuses and the atrocities and the manner in which this technology is being utilized towards human beings, one would ask how we can continue to let this happen. I liken this to the worst attack against the United States of America not in respect to loss of life, but that this technology destroys this country's foundation in one fell swoop. Imagine a country with no right to privacy, no doctor-patient confidentiality, 
no attorney-client privilege, no free speech, no due process, no right to practice your religion the way our forefathers had envisioned for us. When I became a firefighter paramedic, I did it to help people. I did it without ever wanting a thank you. I did it because it was the right thing to do. Recently, my heat surgeon, Dr. Nancy Applebot, here in Sacramento, California, advised my primary care physician that the foreign body in my left ear is inoperable. Thank God for Bob Boyce was able to locate the RFIDs located in his body and he was able to defeat his cancer. Unfortunately, because of the circumstances, I may not get that chance. I sincerely ask the Presidential Commission for the Study of Bioethical Issues Committee for help. Help protect our country, help protect American citizens against murder and terrorism. Help save the future of our children help save my life. Thank you. Fortunately for Bob Boyce, he was able to locate his RFID chips and have them removed. And thank God he was able to defeat his cancer. Unfortunately, for my circumstances, recently my heen surgeon, Dr. Nancy Applebot here in Sacramento, California, recently advised my primary care physician that the foreign body in my left ear is inoperable. And unfortunately, I will succumb to the unfortunate circumstances.